It is said he is not but a simple man, but instead a creature of this world, who in which has taken the shape of one. A shape so vile, so putrid, so evil, that upon his birth into this world there was a day of absolute darkness. The sun did not shine, and the moon did not glow. The sea did not glisten, and the power plant had some serious outage. A misfit creation in this world, he is called many names, but known by so little. He could create and destroy anything he pleased. He could change matter with his mind, and time with his hands. To know him would be to know a faith worse than death itself. He is an anti-hero, the nemesis. The Destructor! The Powerful! The Almighty! The Steadingly Handsome! The Terrible! The Insane! The Doombringer of this world! The one name, none other, than Timmy the Evil! But you wonder, what makes Timmy so evil? What makes him so powerful? In this world of the Unforgotten Realms, there live many creatures and monsters of power, but to them, they are mere rats in a rat trap. Like those rat traps that get all sticky and the rat is like, No, how cruel and unusual. Yes, but these rodents compared to Timmy's power are weaklings. You know that show Dragon Ball? And how those dudes are all like, I have a power level of a million or something? Well, Timmy's power level would be like 10 trillion billion zillion. Yeah, he's pretty tough. For you see, Timmy does not exist in the Unforgotten Realms unless he chooses to. He can penetrate his presence into any timeline with as much power as he wishes. He can change world events and take control of any monster or being. He can change his race, his class, even his stat points on command. If you manage to find a weakness of his, he can instantly erase it or erase you. For Timmy, Timmy holds the power of the HB2 Granite Pencil, built for durability and strength and... Mom! I need another pencil! Timmy the Evil. It is he who created the demigod that gave birth to the Order of Chaos. It is he who would convert the last remaining believer of this world to a side of darkness. And it is he alone who holds the faith of the would-be heroes of this realm. Isn't that right, Professor Walrus? Yes, indeed! And might I say, Timmy, this is much impressive. The mighty source group we have washed in, about to be destroyed once and for all. On a scale from one to impressed, I am at least a B+. <laughs> yes, I have waited. Wait, a B+, what the hell is it? Whatever. Anyway... I have waited many episodes for him to leave his guard down. Oh, how wonderfully evil, Timmy! You know, for a while there, I was pretty sure you were secretly a good guy. What was that? Oh, uh, nothing, Timmy. I think you've been tasting the sweet smell of freedom for much too long, Professor Wallace. No, no. Not the Pokemon, Timmy! Anything but the Pokemon! Professor Walrus, return! No! <laughs> now, on to important matters. Yes, Sir Snoopy, the so called Dread Warrior of Time. Yes, it seems neither your power or your friends can help you out of this one. Goodbye, Sir Schmoopy. What? No! 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 How can this be happening? No! Seriously! Who laminates their character? How is he going to update it? Uh, 
Timmy! Hurry up, Timmy! You're going to be late for choir practice! Coming, Mom! You may avoid this round, Sir Spoopy, but your victory shall be short-lived for when I return! From choir practice, I shall return with red Crayola scissors! <laughs> Ha ha ha!